I haven't made one of these in a while, but I just wanted to talk about it. It's nothing serious or crazy that needs to be like absolutely addressed, but it's an observation that I made a while ago. With the rise of short videos and the amount of apps that support it, new problems are also going to arise with it. That problem being like this mindless nothing content that is now shorter and even more compact so it can be shared everywhere. It's like a, it's a virus that can now be spread throughout every creek and crevice of the internet. But before I go too in depth, let me explain on how I came to this conclusion in the first place. Okay, so when I was making my return to Cuphead video, I searched up videos that would help me beat Ribby and Croaks when this video popped up. 100 Goopies versus like 12 weird Cuphead skins. Watching it, it's literally just chaos, super loud, super bright, and just a mess to try and sit through. And it really got me thinking about other weird videos that I've seen. Those Sigma videos I reacted to a while back, or any of those... Elsa Gate videos that plagues YouTube and YouTube kids. Even to this day, it's still like a cesspool to wade through. Everyone has seen that one video that really just makes no sense and was only made to milk some views and likes out of gullible kids. But for some reason, this Cuphead video really made me think about this kind of content. But I spent some time thinking about this, thinking about this kind of weird content that's that's been around since like video sharing was a thing. Obviously it's not as pre prevalent as it is now, but it's like one of those things that has always been around, but you only really start to notice it now. Obviously no hate towards Awesome Gaming Land. They don't only post headaches packed into a video, they post general gameplay clips and like modded boss fights. I'll, I'll drop a link to their channel in the description below if you wanna check them out. Now let me go in depth with uh, my conclusion here. So these videos are just your average money farms taken from young children and the video overall is a whole lot of nothing. It's just noise to keep you distracted. You learn nothing from these videos and they serve no real purpose. Now I'm not saying every video needs to be absolutely full of information and you must learn something like, like you don't need to be Albert Einstein after finishing your average like Cuphead playthrough. Most of what we watch is purely for entertainment. Hell I make videos for you guys to watch and enjoy. I do try to add something of you in there, you know, like my, my Cuphead Divine Run, see if it was possible to speedrun the game with the Divine Relic. My Hardest Bosses one, see if I could make the Hardest Bosses harder. My Red Dead Shorts, I talk about what happened to the gang after they disbanded. My point is, my videos are made with a purpose behind them. I can't really see one for these Elsa Gate videos other than making dough. I'm obviously not the target audience. A younger me wouldn't even watch this. I was too busy watching You Always Win and, bring, and binging these like badass Lego animations. <laughs> Content like this isn't really see nowadays or if it is it's overshadowed by the previous shit another example is on the tiktok side of things those like tv show clips with some mobile gameplay underneath they're usually played horribly just to get some like interaction i also mentioned these in my sigma videos i'm gonna elaborate more here the these videos target some of the older folks as the clips are usually family guy or south park more content purely made to farm easy views and likes there are thousands of accounts purely dedicated to posting these it's truly a sight to see if i had to guess the audience of these videos videos, I'd say it's kids who grew up watching Elsa Gate and now feel like they're too old to keep up with it. So they switched to Family Guy clips with some sort of stick man money grinder underneath. So there was this video on TikTok a while ago that showed a kid playing Minecraft while mindlessly scrolling through YouTube shorts. And that's how I imagine people watch these gameplay videos. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I sometimes watch these, like, especially if it's a regular show, they're just, they're just funny, but I do try to limit how much I consume here, because I don't want to end up as a, like, a TikTok zombie. Man. Now, I'm not trying to sound super condescending, it's just I don't think young kids should be watching, like, all of this shit, you know? They should be, like, playing with Legos or something, or if they are gonna be watching this stuff, have, like, an adult supervised and make sure they're not watching anything that they shouldn't be seeing. It's just sad, really, that, like, half of younger kids are gonna grow up needing, like, constant dopamine hits but you know I, I don't mean to govern what kids can and can't do because I don't have the authority to be doing that just some advice watch what your kids do don't let them don't give them like free reign and let them watch whatever they want you know end up on like a live leak or something so that's what i wanted to talk about just an observation i made a while ago i'm sure others have had this thought too so i hope i touched all bases in my video uh probably not but you know if it's if, I, if a part two is really requested i guess i'll try it but for now um i don't have anything else you can follow my social shown here to support the work up into my content it helps out and i always appreciate the support stay safe and goodbye